Hey guys, welcome back. This is my weekly review of my quarterly goals and I have had a lot of progress. The last couple of weeks I said, you know, things are kind of slow, but I will have progress soon and I've had a lot of progress this week, which is amazing because coming to the end of the month, I had hours to make up at work because it's snow days and stuff and I've been working a lot. And I've had a bit of a cold, so it's been hard to reach those goals, but I have been blessed to be able to do that. And in my planner that I lost, I set my monthly goals as finishing organizing my closet, emptying my rocking chair, or at least working on that, and mixing my cleaners to clean the room. And I was able to accomplish all that. So pretty excited. Um, and this is what I'm wearing today. My shirt says, what happens with the sisters stays with the sisters. And I have two sisters, flesh and blood sisters, and then we have our sisters from church which we gather once a month. We do the Secret Sisters. We have names drawn um, for a year, and then every month we give gifts. And it's in secret, and I wasn't able to go to the meeting today because of the hours I was working, but I was able to, um, to get my gift and to give my gift because they gave it to them for me. And... I will show you guys what I've been up to. I emptied the rocking chair. Just my teddy bears. Um, and I've got more yoga stuff this week because I do yoga every day, so might as well. I start out the days with at least 10 minutes of yoga. And I will do it other times, full routines, throughout the week. And this is my yoga block from Walmart. And my yoga mat from Walmart. This is $8.88. It's $4.97. <clears throat> These are my workout shoes I've had for a while. I bought them also at Walmart. These are what I wear for walks, when I have jobs where I have to be my feet more, and for my aerobics. And as I told you guys, the weights and the step machine are my mom's equipment, but they're my room, so I use them. I also bought a yoga wheel from Amazon for, it was about 25 or 26 when she counts the shipping. I was ho hoping that this will help with my back issues because I have had friends suggest it and I've seen stuff online on YouTube that showing how to use it for that, but I thought that would really be something to add to my routine. And it arrived today. These are my cleaners. I got, told you guys about the Whippet and how to mix the water and the solution together and make other cleaners. Because uh, I have the big concentrate bottles. I bought this as a pack. I have two concentrate bottles and then I have this one, which is pre-mixed. This is the Professional Strength Stain Remover. So, it has more of a solution in it than these, and these ones I could put a little bit less. And so, like, this is the most, the everyday cleaner has a little less, and the glass cleaner has the least. And these bottles I bought at Dollar General for a dollar, and I'm loving how the colors at Dollar General and even Dollar Tree 
um, go with the colors that I decorate with. A lot of blues, kind of the vintage blues. Um, and these are a little bit smaller than this one. This is like 32 ounces. These were at 28, so then I had to estimate the difference. I don't know that it was perfect, but I tried. Um, then after I mixed them, I labeled them. Uh, glass cleaner and everyday cleaner. I used my paint pen, which I told you guys about in my last video. It worked good. <sighs> And then this is my basket that I bought at Dollar Tree for my bathroom, uh, my parents' bathroom that I stored my stuff in. This um, is the one I chose because I just loved all of them, honestly. And I love the we woven look. It goes with my style. As you can see, I have kind of a woven look for my trash can. Um... And, uh, I thought it would work really good for the size. Like, it was perfect for what I have, and I'm very thankful that I found it. Um, and this is my kind of routine, guys. Um, in the mornings, I usually do the coconut oil, oil pull with my teeth. You guys can find uh, a lot of information on that online. I do usually do that in the mornings. I don't do it on trips, and I don't do it every day. I usually do it uh, every day that I'm working, but on the weekends, I may or may not do it. Um, this, uh, just my unscented lotion. And, you know, these are my my quarterly fragrances. I decided for the whole month of February to wear the candy scented stuff. Um, and then this is my natural deodorant that doesn't have antiperspirant. And I love it. It's really good. I've decided to get more into the natural things to try them. I'm not doing all natural, but I'm trying... To go more natural, see what see if it works. I haven't used this in a while, but this is for your hair, like after you take a shower and stuff, and it worked pretty good back when I used it. Um, and I've thought about using it again, but I've decided to get more into face routine because I've noticed that I do have breakouts, and I'm 31 years old. I had severe acne for 10 years. I haven't had it like that in a while. Um. But I um, have noticed that I get them in certain areas, like I get them along my hairline, and I get them um, usually like around my mouth, where my toothpaste and stuff will dry out that area. And so I don't use moisturizer, I don't use cleansers usually, and I just use like basic um, body wash in the shower, basic soaps on my face. And and body lotion and olive oil. olive oil. I don't have a. I don't feel bad about that one, but the um, but the other stuff I I do feel like I've not been making the best decisions for myself, and I noticed that my skin looks dirty, my pores look dirty. So I've just been wanting to to make a change with that. And um, this is toner. I'm not a big fan of it because it's like. Um, it has alcohol, but I noticed that it, um, had a good review on the Think Dirty app, which my friend told me about, um, as far as not having too much toxic stuff in it, so I figured I'd try it and see what I think. I might try it with it and without it and just see how I feel. Um, then this is the cleanser I got from Walmart, the Aveeno Positively Radiant, which smells really good. And this is mostly what I've used so far. I haven't tried this one. This one I got from Miller's Country Store, which is a Mennonite store around here. Um, and it's really expensive to get uh, the natural stuff. 
especially shopping online. Um, but at their shop, they're super reasonable. Um, like, for example, this was $6.09. And this was like six thirty four, dollars something like that. Um, and this is less ounces. And so I'm thinking about going back there, like when I need stuff, because the stuff there is so reasonable. Like, it's about the same price you pay anywhere else. If it's more, it's not much more, and some of it's even less. So I'm thinking about trying that next. Um, just trying this for a week or so and just seeing how that does. I do like how that feels. Um, when I brush my teeth in the mornings and evenings is usually when I do this routine. And it's, I've just been amazed at how easy it has been to adapt to this, and it really doesn't take very long. So really thankful for that. And this is my... Uh, moisturizer that I got from Walmart and I do like it I do like how light that feels on my skin but I'm thinking about considering other options considering we're natural because these are on the bad list these are like 8 on a rating of like um, from 0 to 10 on the on the bad list on Think Dirty um, but this is really good on it and this one's okay so um, on to the next thing. Okay, this is my gifts from my sister. sister. What's funny is I decided not to go all out on Valentine's and treat myself. I decided that my treats should be for self-improvement because, uh, honestly, that's what I wanted to focus on. I did think about chocolate, but they didn't have much good chocolate left out over after the um, after Valentine's, which is what I usually go for. And I could have bought something, but I'm not a big white chocolate fan. I like I like odd chocolates. I like dark chocolates and stuff. So, um. I didn't go all out, but my secret sister did. And I don't understand this, but anyways, and sloth slender. I get I got a lot of sloth stuff, and this is kind of like a little joke um, that my friends and I have because I have never been in a relationship, and I'm 31. We have like this. Um, ongoing thing about sloths and turtles like and you see this on at the stores but we kind of just like come up with this and then we start seeing this everywhere and it's pretty great on valentine's you say see these sloths that say stuff like you can't hurry love and stuff like that and so this is <laughs> let's just name them um <laughs> my love life basically it's going to sloth space <laughs> snail space whatever you call it um and this got me a rose and this was a, just a prize gift at the party for um, playing a game. I should have played, but she's my aunt's loving playing a game, so that was sweet. And she got me a card. Um, she got me a big soup mug. Just plain. But those are really handy and this um, really pretty composition journal it has a ribbon it has all these um, Victorian looking people which as most people know that is me I am really into all things old-fashioned I think that's so pretty and she got me some sloth socks to say I love you. So cute. I love fucky socks, so that was a good good deal. I got socks. And then these barrettes. And bobby pins, which I use a lot of. And they're the right color. I got one that's closer. I got some that were closer, but that's still close enough. And Then this pretty pen, which I'm really into pretty pens lately, so that's... Oh, 
versus all touchscreen devices. It's not really a pen. <laughs> that is hilarious. But I'm really into pen, pretty pens lately, so I guess that works too. <laughs> And so that's like my secret sister haul for the month. And I will go over my weekly review with you guys. My computer's being slow. Looks like I've been really good this week about keeping up with things. Thank God. Lots of exercise. I've been amazed at all the exercise stuff I've filled out since I've gotten serious about doing exercise every day and recording it. Um... It's become such a part of my life. Even if I don't do um, the full routines, especially more strenuous ones, I'm still doing exercise every day. I still start the day with yoga and stuff. It's just been amazing. Um, I'm just so thankful. I know, I know that everything I do is only by the grace of God. Um... Okay, as far as creating or fixing something, I mended something this week. I have done some some job research, applications, some research online. Haven't really focused on selling stuff so much. And looks like pretty good. <sighs> Been getting better about... This week was better about... Catching up with all of those little goals, um, which is, like I said it's before, it's amazing because of just how hard it's been this week to do all that. So, I'm going to have to <laughs> clear everything up, put it back where it goes, so I can go to bed because I have work tomorrow. And I hope you guys all enjoyed that. And if you guys would like any advice and anything particular, um, just let me know. And hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And I hope you guys all have a very blessed day, very blessed week. Talk to you later. Bye.